So the kids just walked out the door. Uh, we just finished a lab on the nature of science with uh, the mystery tubes. So this is what the mystery tube is. Um, it's just PVC pipe with some caps on it and uh, there's, there's two ropes that are connected in a certain way in the middle. Um, and I'll show you how this behaves and the students watched this uh, to try to figure out what was going on inside. So here's a loose string, I can pull it up there can pull this one over here and this is what really stumps them. That one comes in, grab that one, grab this one over here, put that one on the corner. Right. So this is acting really kind of strange um, and it's not really obvious immediately what's going on. So I had them observe these yesterday and uh, let each group of two play with them. I built fif uh, 15 of them, so I've got a whole bag of them here. There might even be 16 in there. All PVC pipe, um, and uh, there is something going on in the center. And then I had them build uh, the tubes uh, using little models uh, that are made out of uh, toilet paper tubes. Uh, and so what I did was I gave them some string and some scissors. I gave them a compass for the sharp little, the sharp little point on the comp compass so that they could poke some holes, and I had them just do what they, what they uh, thought worked. Um, yesterday I had them spend the whole hour just looking at them and making some observations. They had a data sheet. Um, but you can see here, this one, this particular tube, kind of acts like the, uh, the mystery tube does. Right? If I pull this string, I know it's a little hard to see because the strings are white. But it does act like the mystery tube. Uh, they figured out what it was, and if you can see inside there, uh, this turns out to be what is actually going on inside the tube. Uh, the strings are actually sort of um, wrapped around each other. If you can kind of see that there, they're sort of they're just twisted. That's all it is. They're just twisted around each other. In my actual tubes, I have a little piece of a zip tie that's holding them, the strings together, but this is uh, the best that they could come up with and it turns out to be pretty good. So you can use this to talk about, well, you use this as an experiment to test your hypothesis. If your uh, experiment didn't work, you can either try to revise your hypothesis or uh, do the experiment again, maybe with different materials or, di or you know, better methods. Uh, most of them tied knots in the middle, which kind of worked. Um, but they weren't. Ever, they could all tell that that really was not the very best explanation. So, kind of a cool lab. Um, takes a long time to build the tubes, but uh, other than that, the lab almost uh, teaches itself. It's a really great way to uh, use science skills, nature of science, in order to get kids thinking about.